Hey Credit Warriors, and a few months ago we covered the release of the new Venmo credit card. At that time it wasn't available to everyone, it was kind of like the uh, beta release, beta, beta, oh, whatever. Because at that time um, it was only available to targeted select users of Venmo whose accounts had been open uh, for more than 30 days and they've been active within the past 12 month cycle. But now Venmo has opened applications for this card up to everyone, or as long as you have a Venmo account. Now to jog your memory on this card, here is a quick clip from that video I did a few months ago where I completely trashed their marketing. Venmo explains the perks of the Venmo credit card in this super dumbed down video that looks like it was designed for six year olds that tell you how you get to pick your favorite color. All right, I was just having a bit of fun and I'll go a bit easier on them in this video. Um, this could actually be a really cool card for some people and I'll give a quick rundown of the features of it for those that are interested. Now this is a cashback card and rewards are earned in a three to one cashback structure. So you earn 3% per dollar on your category with the highest spending, uh, and then you earn 2% per dollar on your category with the second highest spending, and then 1% per dollar on everything else. The categories are as follows. Grocery, bills and utilities, health and beauty, gas, entertainment, dining and nightlife, transportation, and travel. So you can see they cover all of the usual categories that most major credit cards would cover. And there are a few more unusual ones like a bonus for bills and utilities. But there is a major catch with this. The three and 2% categories are limited to $10,000 in spending per year. And then after that, it goes down to 1%. So the maximum cash back you could earn in any given year in these categories would be $300. And then all of your spending just goes down to 1% back on everything. And that obviously is unlimited, uh, but you're not getting those bonus multipliers. And arguably you'd be better off using say the city double cash, which gets 2% on everything. But this limitation, you know, it may be a limitation for some, but for other people, it might not really be that limiting. And I'll tell you why a little bit later on in the video. But first we'll go through a few other features. So like we said, the card is customizable. You can pick your color. I mean, it's not fully customizable, but yeah, you can pick what color you like. Uh, and it does have your Venmo QR code printed on it. And this is really useful because let's say you whip out the card to pay the bill in a restaurant and you're there with a few people and they want to pay you back for their portion of it. Well, they can just scan the QR code on your credit card, your Venmo credit card with their phone, and then they can directly pay you via Venmo. So it is actually quite, uh, quite cool, quite a smart way um, to do it because you're paying with the card anyway. So it's really easy for them to just scan it. Now you keep track of all your spending and your categories in the Venmo app. And it does look like they've done a pretty good job at designing the interface. On the fees front, there is no annual fee and there are also no foreign transaction fees, which is awesome for traveling abroad. And the card is a visa, which obviously that gives it more acceptance than other cards such as American Express, especially outside of the United States. Okay, in a moment, I'm gonna tell you who I think this card would be a good fit for, so do stick around for that. But first of all, if you need a way to organize all of your credit cards, balances, utilization, etc., all in one place, why not try the app Max Rewards? Not only can you monitor your spending and utilization across all cards, but the app will tell you which card to use where to get the, you guessed it, Max Rewards. They now support the Venmo card as well. So you simply pick your two categories, which you're gonna use most often for your 3% and 2% cashback rates. And the app will work out how the card compares with all your other cards in your wallet. Have a look at this. Here the app is recommending the Venmo card for gas for me, uh, because I do not have another card with particularly high cashback on gas. So 3% is my best option, the Venmo card. Max Rewards also has a premium service called Max Rewards Gold, where the app activates all your Chase and Amex offers, quarterly categories, etc., for you. You can get a free month of Max Rewards Gold with my link below, uh, or you can just download the app and try out all the free features as well, whatever you want. So who would the Venmo card be good for? Well, I would say there are two groups of people that would really benefit from this card. And uh, number one, just thinking logically, it would be low spenders because obviously you've got that $10,000 spending limit on the 3% and 2% categories. So people like college students or young professionals who are still on reasonably low salaries uh, probably wouldn't really notice that there's a limit on that spending. Let's say you're earning like $25,000 a year or so. Once you take out things like rent and other expenses that it's hard to pay on a credit card, Really, you only may be left with about $10,000 or so disposable income, which you could actually put on a credit card. So you may not even notice that limit. And these people like to split checks more often as well. I mean, I've been there. When I was in my 20s, living in New York City on a really low salary, 
every dollar helps, all right? So whipping out the QR code and uh, splitting the check, you know, a convenient way to do that. Uh, it's definitely suited to those kinds of people who are perhaps trying to make it in the city. They haven't quite got there yet. They're still on low spending, low income, but they're going somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's super convenient for those type of people. Now, the second type of person who I would say that this card would be good for would be someone who, you know, perhaps their spending is a bit higher. They're not necessarily a low spender, but they want to get this card really just to use it solely in one category where they're spending maybe less than $10,000 a year. Categories that this card offers for the three and 2%, such as bills and utilities, health and beauty and entertainment, they're not as common as the sort of regular categories that a lot of other cards offer for their bonuses, like grocery, uh, dining, and also travel, okay? It's easy to get four, five, or even more, even higher percentage um, in those categories on rewards if you really know uh, how to do it. But with things like health and beauty, entertainment, and utilities, uh, there aren't so many choices, okay? There's a few out there, but definitely not as many. So I really think there is a market out there for this card for people who are focused on cashback and just want a 3% card for that one category that they haven't got a bonus on on any of their other cards. All right, guys, those are my thoughts on this card. Please leave your comments about it below. Check out Max Rewards if you like. Please subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.